Namaste. Today I'm going to show you how to make Gujarati broccoli bake. For that we need a head of broccoli and we need to make the topping, uh, which is a mixture of ground flour, some really nice spices and some fresh coriander. So first of all I'll show you how to cut the broccoli. So this broccoli is around, I think it's around 250 grams worth of broccoli. So we take the best off, which you don't want to use. And then we actually want to use the whole of the broccoli, so use the stalks. As we cut away the stalk, the florets come apart automatically. So we want to try and keep the florets intact because we want the most of the nutrients. So use your fingers to rake it, it's good. Yeah? So you end up with medium sized florets. So you end up with broccoli that looks like this. Right now I'm going to show you how to make the wonderful topping. I've got about here 100 grams of chickpea flour or gram flour. Put that into a bowl. In that now we're going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric, one level teaspoon of coriander and cumin powder, half a teaspoon of garam masala. And if you don't have garam masala, you can use Chinese fine spice. Spice called asafoetida, which is the Indian name is hing. And that adds a nice kind of savoury, strong flavour. And I'm going to add also chilli powder. We only want to add a quarter of a teaspoon. We've got these spices in like that. Now we're going to add a level teaspoon of salt. It might seem a lot, but if you think about it, we're going to use the topping to spice the entire broccoli as well. And we're going to add about one and a half teaspoons to two teaspoons of sugar. Mix that around. Then to that, two tablespoons of sunflower or vegetable oil. And we're using this as the binding agent. Your hands in and start mixing it around. And you'll see it'll start sticking and become like a breadcrumb type texture. So basically get it into your hands and literally just rub it in your hands really firmly. Eventually you'll get it to a state where if you've got a good grasp of it, you'll get a literally a block like this, which we'll be able to break down just like that, and probably on my table as well. So, but you have the coriander in, mix it around, and again. So now we're going to show you how to cook this. So we're going to move on to the pan. Right, I've got a medium-sized pan which I've warmed up on the gas. To that, I'm going to add a teaspoon of oil, either sunflower or vegetable oil. I'll heat it up. To that we're going to add half a teaspoon of mustard seed. Turn the gas off. Once they start popping, we're adding half a teaspoon of cumin seeds. And you can see that cumin seeds, everything started frying. And then half a teaspoon of asafoetida or hing. And once that's done, straight in, put the broccoli in. Just stir it around. To that, you want to add a bit of water at the bottom, about 100 mils of water at the bottom. And then, so you're going to turn the gas down, and then you're going to sprinkle the topping over. Now, don't worry if it looks too much, what will happen is the steam will cook it. So, you end up with that, and then the rest of the water, pour it around the dish. Because if you pour it around you're not going to wash away the breadcrumb topping right to the bottom. Now about 300 to 400 mils of water. So we're going to put that on to medium heat. Cook for about 10 minutes. It's been about 5 minutes so we're going to turn the gas down to low and just check how it's doing. You might need to add a little bit more water around the edges. What usually happens is because it's cooking by steam the topping we've put in will absorb a lot of the moisture. So, just add a little bit more water around the edges to make sure, and just kind of swirl it around like this, and then increase that heat for another five minutes. Right, ten minutes are up, let's see if it's done. Turn the gas off. It smells gorgeous. I'm going to serve it with some red peppers and some pepper bread. So it kind of transforms broccoli into a really nice, tasty dish. And here it is, this is Gujarati Broccoli Bake. I served it with some red peppers and some bit of bread, so enjoy.